it may go to so many trials and tribulations, so many emotions, so many misunderstandings, so many overthinkings, like so many giving ups, whatever it is. But you both will get to the end destination. <laughs> Welcome back to a new video, Deep Thoughts with Coco. This is episode four. So today, you can see we changed the environment a little bit. We have pillows on the um, sofa, on the couch. We also have new ornaments, like such a vibe. Also today, I don't have my notebook, but I do have my laptop. And uh, today is the 1st of April. Um, we are in the spring season, but outside it's snowing y'all um but 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 see it on the bright side i know it's spring it's the blossoming season but all of a sudden there was snow that means god's promise can just flow in like this so y'all i'm doing a new thing today um this is the first time that i'm doing it on the 3rd of march i was watching this series manifest if you follow me on instagram you know that i've been binge watching this series for these last few days and uh, i was in season one episode five in this episode god talked to me it was three different clips um, that caught my attention and I knew immediately that God was speaking to me. So I'm just going to try to, I don't know how I'm going to do this video, but I'm going to try and read what I um, wrote and every play. And also I will be playing the video so y'all can understand where I'm coming from. If you started your healing or you're waiting patiently for your husband to come back, so you're in separation with them, or your wife and uh, or you didn't met them yet but you're just waiting for them to come in you just want to meet them already then this work is definitely for you i'm going to play, play the first part and then i will try to explain each and every part of the conversation so you will understand so let's get it running see anything interesting down there kiddo too dark and it's just water no New York yet? This is the longest I've ever been away from Cal. Well, Olive, being a twin is a heck of a special relationship. You always feel connected, no matter where you are. So, in the first part, you get Grandpa, you get a conversation with Grandpa and Olive, right? So, the first thing that Grandpa said was, See anything interesting down there, kiddo? Grandpa, it's caught in this footage, okay? So God is asking you, hey, my love, how's everything going down there? I heard you crying out for my help. Talk to me, what's the problem? So your reply was, too dark and it's just water, okay? So for you, your reply was simply, God, I'm lost. It's too dark. I don't see the end of the tunnel. I'm in this deep pit right now and I don't know how I'm going to crawl out of it. I don't see light. I don't see nothing. I don't think I will survive this. I'm done dealing with all these emotions. I'm done dealing with everything that's going on. It seems like my world is just collapsing in each other. Everything is going all over the place everything it's coming together at me it's like i'm fighting my own demons at the moment and i don't see i don't see the finish of this i'm so lost god is saying that you have a tunnel vision that's why you can see the light and if you search on google tunnel vision google says Defective site in which objects cannot be properly seen if not close to the center of the field of view. So you are currently seeing your current stage of light with a tunnel vision. You need to start focusing on the bigger things that God is preparing you for. He's trying to 
um, built you to be this new person that you're supposed to be, the real person that you're supposed to be in this lifetime. I know it's rough, I know, but you have to just call on to me and I will hold you, I will guide you through this process. Just call me and I will help you because I hear you crying every day. I hear you struggling, I hear your pain, I hear everything. I see everything that's happening and you're just done with life, but just seek into me and you will see how I will guide you. I just feel this, just talking this to the camera right now, I just feel it in my spirit. God is ready to help you. He's the only person that can help you through these difficult timings. I know it's so hard going through your healing process. I know it's so hard seeing everybody getting married, everybody um, having their own family, everybody moving in together with their boyfriend, everybody just getting engaged, whatever it is. But God is saying, I need to prepare you for this. I know you want this so bad, but I need to prepare you for this. You need to get ready. I need to prepare you and your husband. Maybe your husband or your wife is already done healing. They are ready to get to know you, but you are not done. You are still in your own ways and you need to change that. You need to change that first before meeting them. Okay? I know it's not easy. I've been there. I I know I've been there. It's it had been months for me. I even battle sometimes still those energies, still those emotions. But you need to trust in God, okay? So I prof um prophesize a whole word right now and I know you felt it because I also felt it. So let's keep on going. After that, you said no New York yet, okay? So let's focus on the three most focused words in this phrase. No new yet. So I highlighted those three parts that caught my attention immediately. No new yet. You said no new yet. Like you don't see that nothing is changing. Nothing in your environment is changing. It's like everything still, still remains the same. You're still asking God like, I don't see nothing happening yet. There's no new yet. Where is the new beginnings? You've been waiting like for weeks, months, years, but still nothing, nothing changed. You're in this stagnant moment like, God, I'm still waiting. Where are they? Where? Why does it take so long? Why? Why me? You gave me this promise, so why should I have to wait? But God is saying, it didn't happen yet. But that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen, okay? And also, he confirmed me to this verse. It's the verse 2 Corinthians 5 to 7. It says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Believe and walk in your faith that this, not yet, is going to be changed into it finally happened. Not yet doesn't mean no. It's just not the time yet okay so god knows exactly when is the perfect timing to give you the promises that he promised that i'm going to give you those okay he's not going to give you those promises when it's not the time yet he still has to cook it he still has to prepare it he still has to get it ready for you he's not going to give you something mitar mitar mata arroz brua no like He's not going to give you something that's half cooked. He wants you to give he want to give you the plate that's everything is completely cooked and ready to serve, ready to eat so you can enjoy it to the fullest. You don't want to be with somebody that's half healed, right? No, because you cannot heal them. The only person that can heal them is God. So let them go through their phase heal and get ready for this connection. You also have to get ready. You also have to prepare. It can also happen that you're already healed. You're waiting, but you're, there's still a few steps to prepare you for this union, okay? So no, not yet doesn't mean it's no. Doesn't mean that God is saying, no, this is not going to happen. It's just not the perfect timing yet. And you have to just walk by faith and not by sight. I know it's difficult to just walk by faith when things doesn't seem to go the way that you're expecting them to go. 
but that's the human factor like that's us that's how we think we see with our vision and with our vision we just see like okay i can probably see that your interest is in another person or you don't or you're not interested in me but the whole time this person is all about you but it's just the way that they reflect and make it looks like they are not interested in you okay so that's a good example of what i'm giving you don't walk by sight but walk by faith believe in god that he's going to make this thing happen for you even when it seems like it's not going to happen believe in it and live in it okay so i get this every time especially when i went to my healing phase um if, as you already know i'm in separation with my kingdom spouse and god gave me this promise he confirmed to me over and over again yes this is the person that i have for you so when we separated it was really difficult for me i didn't understand what was happening but suddenly i know i was depressed heartbroken dealing with anxiety and everything and there i was um laying down with all my wounds open and didn't know what to do that's when i connected deeper with god and he guided me through the process still it took me a while to realize to that i have to walk by faith and not by sight how is he confirming me something that i cannot see that's going to happen how but with time i started to just walk firmly in my steps and in god's steps let him guide me and right now i'm just walking in faith i get this question so many times like girl he's not even here your husband is not even here it didn't even happen you've been waiting for so long y'all i've been waiting for a year you've been waiting for so long how are you still believing that this is going to happen but that is the faith to walk i believe and trust in god's timing that he's going to make this thing happen and i'm going to sit here one day with my husband and testify and yes i'm going to give my testimony and show y'all see when you walk in faith see what can happen see how things shifted in your life i get it so much time like girl i have to have your faith because you believe in this so deep that it's going to happen but i don't know how because i can't even see that for you but you have to believe that this is going to happen if you believe in god that it's going to make so much things happen in your life why are you doubting why is going to make it happen for you so try to walk in faith at least try to connect deeper with god and he's just simply going to give you that that thing in your spirit that faith that this is going to happen you will walk just freely every day knowing that he got you covered and his timing is not your timing and it will come when the timing is at its best okay and this um in this series or in this prophetic word as i keep going um along the words or the place you can definitely see that this keeps coming forward every time that you have to keep walking by faith and not by sight and believe in his timing okay there's two other verses that god also gave me that confirms what i just said that is matthew 24 44 and luke 12 40 twice god confirmed me in two different verses he says therefore you are also to be ready because the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect so those who are waiting to meet their spouses those who are just in separation and waiting for them to come back home remember these two verses matthew 24 44 and luke 12 40 god confirmed it twice be ready because the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect then olive says this is the longest i've ever been away from cal so for those in separation with their spouses or for those who are waiting to meet their spouses i know it feels like I can't anymore it's been so long i want to recandle with them i want to be back with them i want the chemistry i want us to connect together i want to hug him i want to kiss him all those things you want to do with them 
I know. And for those also who didn't meet them yet, I know you're anxious to meet them. I know. Connecting with the other half and being separated without a warning. It's very painful to see the special person, your special person, walk away and not knowing what's about to happen or when they will be back. Every day, every week, every month, or even years are passing by that makes it feel like you've been waiting for a decade and still there's nothing happening. Like, there seems to be enjoying their new path without you. That means you're just walking by sight and not by faith. Okay? So, Grandpa replies, Well, Olive, being a twin is a half of a special relationship. You always feel connected no matter where you are. But God is saying, the connection, the love, the relationship that I planted in both of you is a special one. It's not something that can be broken. It can be ignored for a bit, but you both will always feel connected spiritually. All those thoughts and sudden flashes, do you think is the only it's only your mind and spirit. It's also theirs and they can feel it too. You both share a profound and unique connection that cannot be broken. This is for you and only you. Okay? So, all those feelings, all those things that you've been feeling, especially if you went through your healing phase already or you're just waiting there, you know, you're so excited, you feel the excitement, you feel so em so many emotions, you dream with them, you think about them, you get vivid visions about them. Whatever it is, you get signs, confirmation over and over about them. That's because you both are connected. And it's not something that can be broken at all. It's not something that can be broken. You both are connected, even though you're not seeing things how God is trying to show you even though they not may seem like they are going to happen I need you to know that they also feel it you feel it and they can also feel it all those sudden sad emotions you can be just happy the happy right now and suddenly you feel sad is their emotions they can also feel it when you are sad or you and or you are happy. When you're just trying to decide to just quit on them and just walk away, they can also feel it. They can also feel it and that's their worst fear. They will try to grab on your spirit so tight and just not let you go. And then you will get sudden confirmations and so many signs. Please don't walk away from me. You both are so spiritually connected, okay? It's not in the physical yet, but spiritually you both are connected and soon in the physical you both will reconnect and unite again. Um, that's what That was it for the first part. I'm going to play the second part right now and then we're going to discuss it, okay? So let's play it. I want to wait for Cal and Daddy. Oh no, honey. Let's go home. We'll get unpacked first. Honey, you know, I got all kinds of baseball to catch up on. Kind of baseball. I know you miss your brother, but he'll be here before you know it. Please, Grandma. I'm going to show you something. Okay, so part two. Oliver is saying, I want to wait for Cal and Daddy. You are saying, God, no, I want it now. I don't want to wait no more. I deserve this love. Why do I have to wait? Mom. Oh no, honey. Let's go home. We'll get unpacked first. God is saying to you. Through different signs, God is saying, let's go home. Let's focus internally. We need to unpack all those traumas, fear, ego, empty promises, and all you've been battling on your own and keeping on the inside first. Let's start getting ready for when they arrive. Everything is in order on the inside and not just only on the outside. Okay, so God is saying, let's focus internally. Let's focus on all those traumas, all those things that you've been battling on your own, all those things that you don't want to talk with nobody about, all those things that's been bottling up, 
on the inside let's work on them first let me prepare prepare you for this union let me prepare you for this person because i don't want y'all to be toxic together i don't want y'all to just um hurt each other because y'all both need each other i have a purpose for both of you on this planet okay so let's heal it's not only you that's going to heal they are also going to get ready i'm going to prepare both of you for this union i know you can't wait why do i have to wait you you won't you're not understanding why do i have to wait do i need to send this person but sometimes god sends a person in your life just to trigger you to work on yourself first just to show you like no i've been doing or i've been living my life wrong i have to change my perspective my way of thinking i have to change all of my surroundings i have to erase some people of my in my life like i have to make a change for myself so i can get ready for the better things that are going to flow in my life okay so it's not always that he's going to give you that person and yes everything is perfect no no that's not life though no i know it's crazy it sounds really crazy but it's just that god tried so many different ways and it couldn't help for a minute but then you went to your old ways but when you meet this person or when you just start your healing whatever that happened or when you're just waiting for this person god is saying let me get you ready for the bigger things let me work within with you okay so grandpa says honey you know i got all kinds of baseballs to catch up on there is so much we need to fix first i want to connect with you first and catch up on with you on all those times that we missed on hanging on with each other i know you have a lot on your mind and i have answered to all your questions as long as you allow me to bond with you on a deeper level and get ready for what you truly want and deserve god wants to connect with you first before meeting with your spouse or before bringing you back in union with your spouse or before giving you all these promises all those things that you are hanging on with your deal life to get or to achieve in your life okay he wants to connect with you first he wants y'all both to connect with him so this relationship can stand the in the firm grounds okay so y'all open that door already just open that door let those emotions out and accept him in your life he's just calling on you i know you've been battling so many things on the inside they are bottling up let it go let it go it's time to just let it go and let it be free start welcoming this new you it's not going to be easy but since you accept god he will just make it so much easier on you grandma replies i know you miss your brother but he'll be here before you know it i know you miss your person i know and i can feel how much you want to be connected and talk with them but they will be back when you less expect it i need you to trust me on this one this also brings back on the confirmation that god gave me in the verses matthew and look it says again i'm going to repeat it be ready because the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect there he comes firm said again he's going to arrive at least when you expect it okay you just have to focus on you right now focus on you baby focus on you i know it's so hard sometimes just focus on you but you have to give that loving to yourself first before you expect to just get that loving from someone else pour that in you let that god pour that love in you focus on you go on dates with yourself treat yourself give yourself the best best treatment don't expect it from someone else because when you're expecting something else from another person that's when you're 
more on the edge to get disappointed that's when you let others disappoint you but when you give that to yourself you will never be disappointed never okay so try to give all this to yourself first and when they come and they give that to you you know that you didn't expect um put your expectations too high they can meet your expectations so easily because they know how to give you what you gave to yourself they know that you like this they know how you want to be treated okay so you replied olive please grandma please god are you sure about this are you sure that they really are the one for me are they really coming back am i really going to go through this phase and heal and get all my promises Mom replies, I'm going to show you something. All righty, Ollie Bolly. Flight 828. There. See? It's not going to arrive for another few hours. It's too long to wait. See, agent? What's that mean? It's just airline talk, honey. Mom says, flight 828. There. You see? So there is your confirmation. This part is where God confirms you that, yes, this is what I have for you. I know you're doubting it. I know you're not seeing it, but I'm going to give you so much signs that you can gain the um, trust and faith in me and also the patience to be waiting for your promises. I'm going to give you this. Yes, you can get all these things as long as you connect with me. As long as you walk in faith, as long as you wait in patience that this is going to happen. Since you want to really see in the physical that this is, this is for you, I'm going to confirm and show you loud and clear to the most obvious signs. Don't be scared to ask him. That's the main thing. Start. That's the main thing you have to do. If you're if you met a person and you think, yes, that that is my person and you don't know why you're feeling like that, like go to God and he will confirm to you like, yes or no, this is for you or no, this is not for you. When you feel that you're getting weak in your knees, just ask me for help. Reach out to me and I will give you the strength. When you feel like you're going to give up on this, when you feel like, no, I cannot wait anymore, God. No, I cannot deal with this. Ask him for the strength. He will give you the strength. You're not the only one. There's so many of us that's waiting to meet our spouses or just, just waiting for them to come back or those that went through healing and are waiting for their promises, things to change around in their life for the better good. Like your season is arriving. You just have to connect with God and he will guide you through. He's going to make the impossible always possible mom keeps on saying it's not gonna arrive for another few hours it's too long to wait and then suddenly on the flight screen pops c agent olive says c agent what's that mean okay so i'm going to read god is saying all i'm saying is that you need to trust me on this you may not see the end of the tunnel yet, but hold on to me and let me be your guide on this journey. It's worth all the storm that you're going through at the moment. Don't just sit and wait and do nothing about it. Let's, be, let's build our palms and heal first before they come back. We need to start getting ready. We need to be well put together for your official first date after being apart and missing each other for some time see agent seek your god seek in him and let him get you ready for what's about to come your way he will get you ready from the inside and outside outside well prepared for their arrival if you don't accept it that you just have to get ready for this then it won't shift you need to get ready as long as you just just wait and see when it's going to happen when it's going to happen and do nothing about it it's not gonna get ready do you expect that the chicken that you're going to have to cook for yourself you just put it out of the um 
freezer that is going to defrost and cook by itself no you have to cook it right you have to prepare it and get ready so you can serve and eat it that is the same with your spouses that is the same with your healing your promises you need to prepare for it you need to prepare it get it ready so you can consume it and enjoy it wow god is speaking to me today y'all god is speaking y'all god is speaking okay so i'm going to wrap the um last part right now um at the second part i paused um the clip and i started to voice my friend and told her like yo girl this is happening this is happening god is talking to me like can you see it like i'm going to send this video to you and i just suddenly stopped it so it was on pause and when I look back as I was voicing, sending this voice notes to my own friend, I saw on the screen, on the pause screen, I will pop the image. You can see that the two screens in the back has number 11 twice. And the episode is called Connecting Flies. How, how amazing is that? Connecting. We're both connected. We're all connected. Let's connect together and get on the fly. Okay, so I'm going to break it into pieces. You and your spouse are both connected to the same end destination, which is emphasis on the New York, new beginnings. It's just that both of you are on, the, on a different flight, different life path at the moment. One's flight will arrive sooner than the other, which is the spiritual awakening. One will heal faster than the other. One will recognize the other one faster than the other. But y'all both will get there eventually. The final destination remains the same. It took five years and a half for the other flight to land, but it arrived. It took more trials and tribulations before the other person realized that no other person can compare to you and how you make them feel. I feel this within my spirit. Oh, ah! This may, they may regret separating from you, but it was needed for them to realize what they truly have in store with you. They needed to work also through the delays on their flight on their own healing and connect with God, our agent, before this special connection. If you also go and research on Google, connecting flights, it says that connecting flights or transit flights is to reach the final destination through two or more flights, namely traveling without any direct flights. Again, I'm going to break it into pieces. Um, there had to be different stops which is spiritual awakening healing bounding deeper with god preparation and new beginnings so you have to go through your healing your spiritual awakening bounding and connecting deeper with god first um you have to get prepared before your new beginnings it's almost the same with the chicken when you get it out of the freezer it needs to be frost first then when it's um, defrost, you will have to get rid of all those fats if it has fats on it. You will have to season it. You will have to give it the taste that it's needed. You have to fry it or put it in the oven. Okay, you also have to put the rice if you're going to serve it with the rice. You have to prepare the salad or if you're eating healthier, you have to prepare the salad. You have to get all those things ready before consuming it. And the final thing is the preparation. You're going to make it so much beautiful and so appealing to the eyes so that you can feel that, okay, wow, I did a good presentation. This thing stays so good. I'm so proud of myself that I did this thing. I'm so proud of myself that it stays so good. So it also took so much preparation, preparation before getting to serve it to yourself right or to others so it's the same with the connecting flights it's the same with your spouses it's the same with your healing and all those promises that you're waiting on for god to give you you both are on a different flight okay 
but that doesn't mean that the final destination is another destination. You both will arrive on the same spot, even though it may takes like months, years or whatever, you both will arrive. So be patient because it will arrive for you, okay? Because it's for you. God gave you that promise and it's only for you and there's nothing that's going to disturb it. Nothing, nothing that's going to stop it. It may go to so many trials and tribulations, so many emotions, so many misunderstandings, so many overthinkings, like so many giving ups, whatever it is. But you both will get to the end destination, which is New York, new beginnings. Okay? If you're going through your healing and and just waiting for a miracle or something to happen for your life to change around is going to happen you will get to that final destination babes the final message that god gave me was flashbacks reveal how loved ones cooped after flight a to eight disappearance to escape the voice in his head ben goes on an adventure with Cal. so if you want to meet your spouse, if you want to get through your promises that God gave you, if you're waiting for a miracle of your or your life to change around, if you want to meet your spouse, if you're waiting patiently for your spouse to come back, all God is saying is buy your ticket. Buy that connecting flight ticket to the destination new beginning. Let's start this new phase. Let's start this new path and let me guide you through. I'm going to prepare you and get ready for this because I know you want it and you deserve it. You're no less than my other children. You're going together, but I just want to bond with you. I just want you to recognize that it's best to change your life around and let's make this happen together. Okay, I want you to be there. I want you to get there, but you just have to hop on that plane buy that ticket that connecting flight ticket to your new beginnings with god let's go to all those trials and tribulations all those storms all those emotions all those empty promises all that fear all those things that been bottling up let's work on them so we can get to the final destination okay so i really hope that this message touched the ones that watch this because I know it will touch a lot of person and it also touched me. I cried like a baby because it was so direct and I knew immediately that it was God talking to me that, hey girl, I want you to give this message out to all those ones that you're, um, that you, that watch your channel. I'm going to bless you with more than you're expecting because I know so many children of me out there needs to heal, needs to hear this. So I'm just obeying and doing it by his order, okay? You're not the only one that went through your healing phase. You're not the only one that's healing right now. You're not the only one that's waiting on your spouse to come back. You're not the only one that's waiting to meet your spouse. There's so many of, so many of us. Love is the most beautiful thing that you can experience. But you have to find love with God and within yourself first. That's the most beautiful thing. That's the thing that you cannot take away. Never. Nobody can take that away from you but yourself. Okay? So, I hope you have a blessed month. I will meet y'all in my next vlog next week. And also in the next episode, Deep Thoughts with Coco. Uh, uh, uh.